hello 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 welcome back to another tutorial and y'all i'm gonna just get ready right to it i thought i was recording and as you can see i already went through the steps of putting in this mold and this is the lip mold and i'm gonna go over everything what you're gonna need you're gonna need oreos you're gonna need chocolate you're gonna need your lip mold and I get this from SD. I think I'm a 95% sure I got this from SD. But I also have one you can get from Amazon. And instead of the four cabinets, it's got five. And the one from Amazon, the one I have from Amazon. But this one has four. And I got this off in SD. You're going to need your lipstick containers. And you can also get this from off in Amazon. You're going to need your lip stick mold cavity and you can get a single you can get it in four i got it in four and i got a single so we're going to be using a single it comes it looks like this and it comes with this little tube you sit it down up in there and then you put this piece on top and since i already went thought i was recording and did the oreos all you're going to do is take a little chocolate and you're gonna fill each mold up halfway. Then you're gonna place your Oreo down, push it down a little, but not too far to the bottom. Then you're gonna fill it up again. Okay, I'm gonna move that to the side. And with your lip mold, you're just gonna take some chocolate. You're gonna have it like this. You're gonna already have it positioned. You're gonna take your chocolate and you just wanna pour it in. like so give it a tap then you're gonna set this lipstick mold and you're gonna set, set your Oreos into the refrigerator for like five minutes until it completely hardens so what else we, oh and we're also gonna be using this this is a hundred percent edible it's by Brocco I love their colors because it give it like a shimmer a shine a glitter look effect but this is what we're gonna be using. Okay? So I'm gonna set this in the refrigerator and I'll be back. Okay, now that I've took my Oreos out the refrigerator, I'm gonna take it and you're gonna press down and it should easily come out. And if they don't easily come out, that means they're not ready, they're not set yet. So place it back in the refrigerator. Okay, and this I got from SD, um, but this is the one I was talking about. I ordered off Amazon. There are two different styles, but they're both lip um, Oreo molds. And if you want this one, you get this. I can't remember who, what seller I got it from off SD, but I know I, I got it off SD. Okay. And let's get our lip mold out the refrigerator. <clears throat> okay. And it may have a little tip on top. You just want to shave that off. Just hold it and shave it off. Okay, I'm back. I had a call come in. Okay, my lip mold. You're going to remove the tube. And you're going to be left with the silicone part and this is a purple part. And you're just gonna take it and squeeze it out. Now this is the difficult part. You wanna try to release this plastic silicone mold from the um, tube of the lipstick, the chocolate. And by that you're just taking it and you're just trying to release air into it so it can pull apart. And 
and just go around. And I just take mine and do it like this. But be careful because this is chocolate. Okay. Take your lipstick too. You're going to roll it all the way to the top. Place this into it. And I'm just going to press down. Like so. And if, if it's released from the plastic, it should just come down. But see, mine didn't, so I have to play with it some more. Because once you roll it down, it should release. Okay. Just take it and continue to go all the way around to your own. Um, let the air in. Okay. They haven't released, so you got to continue to do it. Roll it up to the top. Place this in. Give it a push down. You see? And remove it. And that's your lipstick. Okay. So now we're going to take our brush. We're going to move this to the side. You're going to take your Barco color. And a cupcake um, liner or anything you want to um, pour it in. Take a little bit. Take your brush. And you get this brush from Michaels. Dip it. And just go over your um, lips. And you're going to do the same thing with your, um, your lipstick. You're just gonna keep going over. You're gonna pick it up. And you're gonna do the same. And you don't need no um no lemon extract, no nothing. You just dusting it on. Just getting everywhere, getting all the corners. And that's that. Okay. You take your lipstick. You roll it. I'm just going to cover mine like this. I won't get the dust on my tube. In the same way you did your Oreos, you're going to do your lipstick. Just go all around, making sure you get every, 
and you're just gonna dust it off. Like so. And then you're just gonna clean up any anything that got on the tube for it. Take your top, put it back on. I gotta melt my chocolate because it's just got hard and I'm gonna do another one. <coughs> I'm just placing it in the microwave for like 15 seconds. And just continue to do all your Oreos. Just like before, you take your lipstick, your mold for it. You sit the tube down, you place your mold in there, place this part. You want this end in this part. Press it in now. Take your chocolate. Give it a tap and place it in a refrigerator. And if your refrigerator has a rack and it don't have like a, a glass bottle, you want to sit it on something so it can sit right. Okay. And just finish up your Oreo. Okay, I'm just going to finish up all these and I'll be back. Okay, now that my second one has come out the refrigerator, I'm going to remove the tube. And you're left with the silicone mold and the, I guess the protective cap, I don't know. You're just going to squeeze this off. Well, turn it. You're going to turn it off. And this is what it's going to be left with. And you just want to remove it like the first time. So you're trying to get air. You're trying to separate, separate the silicone from the chocolate. And I just pull mine back like that. And I put the cap back on. And place it down. You roll your tube all the way to the top. And keep going around and around. The key is getting as much air as possible into the mold. Take it. <coughs> Excuse me. Take it. You want to push it in all the way down just like that okay and you want to twist it down and if it releases that means it was ready see how mine's released from the from the mold itself and that's it then, as usual, you're going to take it and you're going to dust it. You can leave it clean. You don't have to dust anything on it. I mean, that's your preference and the way, what you're going for, the look you're going for. But since I did my Oreos, I might as well do this, huh? Take it. And just brush it.
and I just wrapped the paper towel around it because I don't want any of this um, dust on, on the tool part. Although you can wipe it clean. You just go all around the lipstick. Just making sure I got everything covered. Okay, like that. Okay. So you're just going to take it and clean it up around the edges of it, the top of it. You're gonna roll it down. Continue to wipe any dust that got on it. And these tubes came out for Amazon, like I said, a pack of six. And I think they was seven dollars and something. Eight dollars and something. Something like that, but yeah. So that's it. The lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few, another one done, because y'all know me, I have to have a presentation. I'm going to put, my, put it back into the tube, put the silicone back in, put this part back on, and I'm just going to put my chocolate in. Give it a tap and place it in the refrigerator. So I will do this last one with y'all and then I'll set up and show you the end results of it. Be right back. Okay, now that I got the last one out the refrigerator, I know I should have showed um did it with the four um silicone things, but you gotta remove the tube. Bless you. Okay, now you gotta remove this part. And all you do is twist it and it comes right off. And let me tell y'all this before I go any further. When I first received this, I washed it, I dried it, and I lined the inside of it with um, coconut oil. Just so it can make it easy for it to come out. So that's what I did with that. That's a good tip also. Okay. Now you have this part, just like before. You got the silicone part and the chocolate still stuck in. And whether you use chocolate or hard candy in it, you still will do it the same way. To release it out. You see, mine's had got that little extra trimming around it. I'm just gonna break it away. You can shave it away with a knife or whatever. And my hands are clean. All the negative answers in the comments. Okay. See how I flip mine's back and just flip it back. And it's still I can still see it's um not released from the mold. Cause if when it do release, you're gonna see like a clear spot everywhere. That means it's it's been released from the mold. Gonna, you're gonna put your tube all the way up this is up and that's down put it all the way up insert it you're gonna do, use a little force to push it all the way down don't be hercules with it or the hawk you know but you want a little strength to push it all the way in okay see mine's still not released yet 
I'm gonna roll it back up. I'm just gonna continue to go over around it. And see, pop right on out, see? And that's it. Move, close it. Okay. You're just gonna brush it. Y'all want to have something down on your um, countertop or your tables, whatever you're using the um, Braco colors dust in, because this stuff do get everywhere, y'all. It really does, and it's like a dye, whatever. And it really will um, leave a mark on your countertop. And I'm just brushing it on. As you can see, I didn't use anything but this. And if you wanted to do the um the glitter disco dust or um edible jewel dust, uh, um any edible glitters, you would use a glue, an edible glue, or you can use um water, or you can use um coconut oil. Anything just to stick it on to um, act like a glue. But in this case, you don't need anything because I'm just brushing it. And you just go up, continue to go around it till the, um, the whole tube is fully covered in the color that the desired color that you're using or what you're going for. Just gonna brush it on. Make sure I got every inch of it. And there you have it. Up close and personal. I don't know if y'all can see the effect of it, the clip, the shimmer. But there you have it. Little stick. So gonna get this all cleaned up get my area cleaned up because it's driving me crazy with this on my counter and I'll be back as usual when I have cleaned up my mess so stay tuned okay this is the finished product so get a close in Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you took away something from it. And my baby just ran in here because I guess you're going to close the video out. What you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. No. Welcome to our channel. And what else? Don't Subscribe for videos. Don't forget. Don't forget. Bye. <laughs> yeah, she acting shy now. Y'all can't even see her. But anyway, this is oh, it. Night? This is how you make the lips and the um the lipstick. Like I said, the lipstick too is real. Nothing is edible on it but the chocolate, but the lipstick part. The Oreo is fully edible. It got Oreos in it. Don't forget mm -hmm. to subscribe our channel. Again, what you're going to need is... Well, I'm going to have to come back because I'm going to have to put my phone down. I'll put it on the tripod Don't. to show y'all. And, so, and, the, stay and tuned. subscribe for Mama Jenny. Okay. So that everything is set up and all together, we're going to go over with the things that you need. You're going to need your lip mold. And y'all... I'm really bad about putting things in the description box. So if you're watching the whole video, you will see or you will hear, you know, instead of leaving it in the comments, which I have no problem if you're still asking in the comments. But if you're watching the whole video, 
nine times out of ten, I think I said, but hey. Anyway, things you would need. Broco colors. This one I use burn it. It's a purple. You're gonna need your lip mold. I got this um lip mold I, I wanna say from Estee. I'm 95% sure, like I said in the um, beginning of the video. But if not, Amazon has a mold. It's still a lip mold. It's not the exact same, but I have used this one. It's just like a bit a puff in your lip than this one. But Amazon do have this one. You're gonna need Oreos for your lip mold. And if you don't want to fill it with Oreos, just chocolate, you can do that also. You're going to need your lipstick tubes. And you can order those lipstick tubes off of Amazon. They come six to a pack. Well, the packs that I order were six to a pack because I ordered different kinds. <coughs> Excuse me. But they come six to a pack. Some, some more because I just did an order with a hundred. But it was from another seller. And I don't want to put that seller out because... It's my first time ordering from them, and honestly, I'm like iffy about it. So, <laughs> I don't want to put it out there. They take my money, and then they take yours, so let me get mine first, and then I'll update y'all on that one. But anyway, you can get the lipstick mold and the lipstick um, two from Amazon. They come in singles. The singles is what I use for this video, but they also come in a set of four and a set of six, because I got the four and the six. Okay, you're gonna need a brush to do your brushing and your chocolate, of course, and that's it. And to my next tutorial, y'all stay blessed. And I'm gonna box these. I just cut myself off, huh? But anyway, I'm gonna box these, and I think I'm be giving these to um, a young lady. She's my son's age, and she went to school with my son. She's with my son. They're real cool, you know, almost like family. But anyway, I'm going to be giving these to her because she's doing makeup. She That's her thing. She's really good. She's, like, real good. And, you know, her heart's in it. Plus, she's a college student or whatever. So I'm going to call her mama up and, you know, let her mama surprise her with this setup. But anyway... Until my next tutorial, because I am going to box these up, like I said, for to my next tutorial, y'all stay blessed, stay focused, stay humble, all that good stuff. And to my next tutorial, which is going to be probably Sunday. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's going to be something. Oh, I'm trying to put videos out, y'all. At least one, a video once a week. I'm trying. But... I'm a mom of a four-year-old who's very active and who's over there taking all my credit cards and debit cards out my pouch um, as we speak. <laughs> but then I'm busy, you know, with all my orders and, you know, I am a wife. I mean, so I'm a little busy. But anywho, I am going to try to put a video out once a week. And for all my loyal subscribers, I appreciate you. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, you know. I do have pretty good content when I do post. <laughs> but um, I just like to keep it really friendly, friendly on this channel and positive. You know, if you're all about positivity, you know, welcome. Any negative, you know, you can exit. If there's plenty of channels out there for you, if this not for you, you know. But anyway. I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time out to watch my videos, you know, leaving comments, suggestions. I appreciate it all, you know. But till next time, bye-bye.